welcome. If you're new here, I'm Christy the Gen X Gypsy, helping you to travel better so you can focus on creating unforgettable memories. Yes, this is a pile of Amazon boxes in front of me. They are hopefully some really cool travel dresses for the spring and summer. You know, when I was growing up, I loved to try on clothes, like my own clothes. I'd get in my closet and I'd pull stuff out and try stuff on and put it together. And, and you know, I've kind of, you know, as we get older, obviously we don't have as much time for that, but you kind of get away from that whole wardrobe creativity. So I'm looking forward to having the opportunity to play a little dress up today for you. I am going to try these on basically in kind of real time for you. I haven't opened these up yet, so let's dig in and see what we've got, shall we? I'm all unpacked what I've got because you know sometimes you forget after you've placed that order with Amazon is I've got four dresses here I've got two shirts a skirt two layering pieces a sweater and I think that's like a knit circle I sweater I don't know what else you call it and then uh, two of those pairs of shorter shorts with the pocket in them now I don't have a steamer or anything uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try them on as they are so the first time I'm putting them on is the first time you guys are gonna see them too so you're gonna get the real reaction of what I think of these things as I try them on so let's get started to start off with, I wanted to go with the flirty, fun little dress. I do like it. I like the color on. Definitely like the print on a little bit better. It's a little revealing right here. I have broad shoulders, so it tends to pull anything with a V-neck. It'll pull it back and sort of expose my clavicle and um, what little decollete I have. But it does come with a snap that you can sew on wherever it works for you. So I would probably sew it on so it showed, you know, like about here somewhere. I am wearing my Sorel sandals with my try-ons today and I might have another pair of shoes that I try on too depending on how that looks but i like it i do like this outfit once i put the little snap on i did put one of the pairs of shorts on underneath here where you could slide your pocket or i'm sorry slide your phone in your pocket or a little extra cash you know in your pocket here but it also would be really cute with a straw purse and a little straw hat what do you think I kind of like it. It's very fun and spring and summery. I also like that the shorts, um, if it you know flies open because it's windy, you've got these shorts on and you don't have to worry about um, your underwear being exposed. So that's just an added plus. So there we have it, outfit number one. Let me know what you think. Everything is going to be linked in the description below if you want to go check them out. Everything I have today I got from Amazon, including the hat, the purse and the sandals even though I've had those for a while so I will link everything if you want to go check them out for yourself this next dress is from Prana which I usually love Prana stuff I have actually quite a bit of it this I, I like it mm, okay <laughs> the things that I like about the dress so far are that I do like the length I'm short, I'm 5'3", so I like to have a little a little shorter of a dress so that it shows my legs. It, I feel like it does make me a, look a little taller. Maybe it's all in my head, but whatever. I like to wear something a little on the shorter side. I like that it has two pockets here and it has a zippered hidden pocket over here. 
So you can put like some extra cash or something that you want to keep a little more secure in that zippered pocket and then have your other two pockets for anything else that you want. I do need to give it the cell phone test. I'll have to go grab a cell phone and stick it in there and see. I feel like it might pull down a little bit if I have a cell phone in my pocket because it's a little too stretchy. In this pocket, there is a pulley thing that you can make the waist a little snugger. So if you have a teeny tiny waist and you aren't as straight as, <laughs> I'm very straight from my shoulders all the way down to my ankles. There isn't much curvature here. So if you're a little curvier, I think that this dress would probably be a little more attractive on you. It's, it's not super flattering to my straight figure. The material's on the thin side, but I think that would be great for summer traveling. It's nice and lightweight and it feels like it would dry really quickly if you get kind of sweaty in it. But the neckline here, it feels like it keeps pulling back on me so you see all this stuff gathering here and I feel like I would just keep pulling it to the front all day long I keep doing this let's go grab a phone and see how it holds up with a phone in the pocket because I, I have a feeling it's gonna pull it down be right back because I'm filming on the phone that I use I've got an old phone that I'm just gonna stick in my pocket here now it doesn't have a case on it or anything so it's not quite as heavy as it would be but actually that's not bad it's not it's not pulling down on the dress much at all so that that's better than i had thought that it would be so the weight doesn't pull the skirt way down like this which is what i was a little nervous about i don't know i'm 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 reserving judgment on this one i don't think it's a keeper for me but if you like it and you are looking for something that's lightweight and dries quickly and um, maybe you're not as straight as I am, this might be a good choice for you. Like I said before, everything is gonna be linked down in the description. I'll also put my sizes down there in case you're curious. <laughs> in case you're curious about what sizes I got. Let's move on to the next one. So this dress is something that I really wasn't sure about when I ordered it. I was like, yeah, I'm not a big, maxi dress fan but i know that they are really popular and it's really comfortable maxi dresses are really comfortable and it has pockets which you know i love my pockets it does feel a little like uh something that you would wear as a nightgown and I, i'm not i don't really like the length of these sleeves i think i would roll the sleeves up like twice make it not so I don't know, mature looking. <laughs> is, that a, is that a good way to put it? How do I like that? Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I feel, I mean, aside from the tie dye, which is a great pattern, I do feel like it's a little, a little too moo moo looking for me. <laughs> it's not a, again, being short, it's not a super flattering look to wear something long. However, if you are tall and uh, you like soft material, ooh, this, this is really comfy. I, I mean, the material feels great. I would maybe consider it as a bathing suit cover-up. I think it would make a great cover-up. It'd be nice if maybe this dress were more of a tank top dress than a short sleeve dress. But for those who want to cover up their arms, again, this would be a great option for you. And it does look really pretty, pretty cute with the hat on too, I will say. Get my hair out from behind my ear there. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Not bad. Another one I have to think about. Like I, I, the more I have it on and the more I'm looking at it, the more I might like it. I'll let you know if I decide to keep it or not. We need to give it the phone test though. Let's see how this works. Mm, I feel like the phone doesn't pull down too bad on the dress, but if you go to sit down, I feel like the phone can easily slide out of this pocket. I know, I give it like a, a C on the phone test, how about that? This next outfit is a little on the casual side for what I was going for. It's the tennis skirt, and um, it does have pockets, which was the whole purpose of getting these things. So there's the pocket right there in the skirt, or the short part of the skirt. It's a little short, even for me. I For something that's kind of looking like a skirt, I just think I would want it a little longer. Like if it were maybe an inch longer, I think this would be perfect. 
And the look ended up being a little too casual for my Sorel sandals, so I did switch them out for my Sanook flip-flops, which I love these things. They're almost as comfortable as my Berkey's. Just saying. I will link these below as well if I can find them on Amazon because I did not get the Sanooks on Amazon, so I'm hoping that they're there. I picked up this circle knit um, throw cover. I don't know. What do you call it? A sweat circle sweater? But it's not really a sweater because it's not knit because i wanted to see how this looked as a layering piece with the different items and this i really like sorry about the wrinkles like i said i don't have a steamer here so i wanted to get this done i do like this and i think with a slightly longer skirt or a pair of nicer shorts or a pair of jeans, obviously. This would be a lovely outfit to travel with. Both of them are very comfortable. They look nice, especially once this is steamed. <laughs> but the skirt, unfortunately, uh, is definitely a no-go for me. I think I'll look for a little bit longer tennis skirt to try on for my next try on. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to talk about the shirt before I put the sweater on. So the shirt is just a basic tank with a little V. I do kind of wish the V came down a little bit lower. I'm, I kind of have that in between. I don't want it too low. I don't want it too high. Clearly I'm the Goldilocks of V-necks. I do like it. I will probably keep this because I'm always looking for a good white cream colored basic shirt for the summertime. They are fantastic to travel with and we all know that white and cream shirts don't last more than a year or two. At least not with somebody who can be as clumsy as I am. I'm not exactly sure what I was getting this shirt for, or this top, it's really kind of a knit top, other than it is one of my absolute favorite summer colors to wear. I think I was thinking I would wear this with like white jeans or a pair of khaki shorts or, you know, something along those lines. I would not generally wear this with athletic shorts, these types of athletic shorts anyway. But I did want you to be able to see both the top and the shorts that I got today. I am wearing them with like these like cute little Jessica Simpson slides that are really comfortable. They don't have these on Amazon, I did check, but they have some, Steve Madden has some that are really similar that I'll put in the links if you want to, if that's something that you're looking for. I do really like this top, not with these shorts. No, I know. So don't yell at me in the comments that, oh my God, what are you wearing? Because this is not, this isn't an outfit I would wear out. But I wanted to show you, these shorts are actually super comfy. They um, are a, on the high-waisted. I've got kind of a poochy belly. Well, I mean, I probably don't need to tell you that. You can actually see it. But it comes up pretty high and it holds you in. I am definitely taking these on my trip to Utah and Arizona. We're doing a desert tour. We're doing the Grand Canyon, Sedona, and Zion. So these will go with me and they will go on the hikes with me again because they have the fantastic pockets on the side. I can see the shirt getting a lot of use through the summer with me, but um, yeah, not like this. <laughs> All right, we have one last dress for me to try on and it's one that I've had in my list for a while to try on. So I'm really excited. I hope that it works because so far things have been a little meh with this whole Amazon try on haul. There's been a, a few good things, but uh, I'm looking for that, that wow winner. So fingers crossed, this is it. So here is our last dress. And I do really like it, except I think I need a larger size. So this is a medium but you can see it's kind of uh, stretched tight across my back here and showing a few of those pretty little love handles that I have. Other than that, and the one drawback that it is a one piece, so you do have to pull it all the way off when you go to use the bathroom, and it is what it is. But I like the dress and you know, it's got the shorts built in, it's got the pockets, it's got all the things and I like the length is actually pretty good. It's a little bit longer than that skirt was, so it doesn't feel 
quite so short. I'm gonna have to reorder this in a large and see what I think. I'm gonna look and see what other patterns they have. I think the tie-dye was it. I think everything else was like a solid color and I wanted something that had a print so I could use it for, um, you know, multiple things. But it'd be fun. You could actually use it to go hiking in if you wanted to because it's very athletic-y. It came with pads that if you wanted to put pads up here because it does have the built-in bra, you could do that. They didn't have the pads inserted. They just sent them to you so you could put them in yourself. You know, I would play around with that. But again, I'm going to try a different size first before I make a decision on this dress. And I forgot, I have another sweater layering piece that I got, so I'll be right back. Okay, right, here we go. Last piece is this pretty little sweater for layering. Nice and loose. I love the open knit and how long it is. Oh, I'm a big fan. I like this a lot. This would be cute over that white tank top with um, white jeans, just as a really nice spring summer outfit. It's super comfy and it looks really good with the Sorel sandals. I do, I do like the sweater a lot. Sweaters are fantastic to have when you are traveling in the spring and summer because if you go somewhere where it's really breezy or it gets a little chilly in the evenings, it's nice to have that layer. And if you're going somewhere hot, where they blast the AC, having an extra layer will be nice to keep you warm. So that's everything that I had to try on. There's a couple of keepers I think in here, but I'm still on the search for the perfect travel dress. If any of you guys have some options of travel dresses that you really like, let me know in the comments below. If you are looking for a few suggestions on rules to follow when you are packing for travel, check out this video next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.